Welcome back to this series on speeding up simulink simulations. In the last video, we used the shipping model of the powertrain block set to demonstrate the power of parallel simulation. You may not notice that it models a P4 architecture of a hybrid electric vehicle model and is quite a complex one. It has around 10,300 blocks and models many different vehicle component functions such as the engine, engine controllers, the vehicle, etc. Such a complex model is usually developed in a team environment rather than by individual effort. Sometimes, for especially large models, teams can work in tandem on individual components and integrate them together in the top level model such as this one. In this video, we will talk about model references and a simulink cache and how they can aid with these workflows and provide performance benefits that can scale for such models. Before we start, for new users, it's recommended you check out this component-based modeling page in the MATLAB documentation to check if model references are appropriate for your modeling requirements. First, let's delve into model reference and its benefits. Model references lets you include one model in another using a model block. Each instance of this is called a model reference. In this model, we can see all the reference models in the HEP4 reference application. The model that contains a reference model is a parent model, and a collection of parent and reference models constitute a model hierarchy. Like subsystems, this allows you to organize a large model hierarchy. However, unlike subsystems, using model references has many performance benefits. One is incremental loading, which means the reference models are loaded only when needed, um, unlike subsystems. And this speeds up your model loading times. Two is you get accelerated simulation, where you convert a reference model into code and simulate the model by running the code, which is faster than interactive simulation. So in this example, you can make this reference model along with others run in the accelerator mode and the top level model to run in normal mode. So you get the benefits of a faster simulation along with the interactive simulation for the top level model. If the top level model is in normal mode and the reference models are in accelerator mode, the model references could be two to three times faster than using a subsystem implementation. Lastly, you get the advantage of incremental code generation, which means code for both production and simulation is regenerated only if the reference model and or any of its dependencies or interfaces change. Uh, so for example, in the case of these automatically generated MEX files or so-called simulation targets, which implement these reference models are not regenerated every time you simulate the top model unless the model references associated with it have been updated between simulations. So in summary, model references gives you the advantage of faster load times, faster simulations, and improved build times with incremental code generation. All right. Now let's talk about another feature which is closely associated with model references called Simulink Cache and its benefits. When you're working on a large model in a team environment, there will be many times when you run simulations based on components somebody else built. A question here is, is it possible to leverage any generated simulation targets that my team has already built so that I don't have to rebuild them myself so as to save time? The answer is yes, and Simulink Cache aims at doing just that. To demonstrate, let's consider the same example which we have been using, which consists of seven active reference models. When the top level model is updated, the model reference targets for these models are built. These are the files that are generated. Simulink then packages these generated files or build artifacts into a single file with the .slxe extension for each model in the hierarchy called the Simulink cache file. When your colleagues send you models with cache files, you don't need to pay the cost of rebuilding the updated models 
you got from them. Simulink will see the updated Simulink cache files, extract the necessary files from the corresponding cache files, essentially recreating the directory they used and will use it. So sharing the Simulink cache files significantly reduces the rebuild cost in a team-based workflow. This can be integrated into projects and source control systems. We have a technical article that talks about this and parsim workflows for your reference. So in summary, Simlink Cache lets you share build artifacts that reduces the first time cost to run simulations. Also, it can be integrated into Simlink projects and parsim workflows. One thing to be noted while using model references and Simlink Cache is the exact performance improvement depends on several factors such as the number of models in the hierarchy, the model reference rebuild settings, the number of uh, blocks in the reference models, and the size and the number of derived files uh, created for each model. However, there will be times that you might need to rebuild all the model references. If you are looking at models that have say hundreds of model references and long build times of hours, the parallel model reference build feature could help. This allows you to build these model reference targets in parallel using MATLAB workers, considerably shortening build times. As an example, I was using a model that had around uh, 400 model references and uh, took close to an hour to build. By using the parallel build feature, I saw the build times drop 20 minutes, a 3x improvement. Okay, so how do you enable it? You can do that by selecting the parallel builds option on the model referencing tab of the configuration parameter dialog for the top level model. Simlink provides you with a check to see if you can benefit from this parallel build feature. For this, uh, you can open the performance advisor, find and run this check under the checks requiring model update. It will show the potential speed up for the model using this feature. In summary, you can use the option of parallel build of model references uh, to speed up rebuild times. However, the actual speed up depends on multiple factors, including the nature of the model reference hierarchy. To wrap things up for this video, if you are working in a team environment on a large model, using model references with parallel builds and Simlink cache can maximize the simulation performance by leveraging the benefits of incremental workflows. Thanks for watching.